Hey, we're here today in the Conversation Cafe, the Welcome Hub on Paris Street, which is being run by the Devon Ukraine Association. And I'm really, really pleased to say that the City Council is extending its partnership agreement with them because they've been doing such amazing work um, since March this year when they were first set up very, very quickly after the invasion of Ukraine. Um, the support place um, was here in the city for anybody who was a refugee and who was fleeing. Since then, it's had a very particular focus on people who are here under the Devon uh, Homes for Ukraine scheme. Um, there's nearly 200 people here in the city um, under that scheme. There's many more who are here under some of the other family routes or some of the other schemes that are uh, available to them. And obviously we reach out to a huge area in the whole of Devon um, because we're in such an amazing location here. There's a bus station right over there. There's a council officers there. There's the city centre there. There's St Sidwell Centre just up the road there where English for foreign language um, classes are being run to support the Ukrainians who are here in the city. So it's actually a perfect location. And because of that, it brings lots and lots of people from not just here in Exeter, but the whole of Devon in to come and access the services here. And the list of services that they can access from here is absolutely amazing. So in partnership with Exeter City Council and Wellbeing Exeter, we've got two full-time staff now. Um, and on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, they have dedicated sessions here in the, in the Conversation Cafe where people can come and get support with just integration, applying for jobs, um, access to benefits, getting themselves lined up with finding their own private accommodation if they're deciding to move on from their host families. There's all sorts of support available. In addition to that, we've got even more. We've got the uh, Citizens Advice to a weekly drop-in where that's appointment only at the moment, but you can come in any time and they'll help you organise an appointment to, to join that Citizens Advice service where they can help them people access anything. You know, they can deal with a consumer problem, they can deal with um, a housing problem, they can deal with the benefits of work, any, anything, you name it, they can deal with it. So come on down, make use of the services that you know, is being run so, so well by Devon Ukraine Association here in the Conversation Cafe. From the beginning, um, Exeter City Council uh, offered partnership. So from the beginning, we've been constantly in conversation and uh, we gathered uh, initially we gathered a lot of media uh, inquiry and support and then we got um, funding to actually provide services, the first, first initial refugee services here as well as services for social and cultural events and currently we're actually expanding further to provide more educational and business development opportunities for refugees. So it's been a really organic, committed relationship from the get-go. All the work we've been doing has been such a community-driven work. The people that have been coming here, um, we've been doing calls through um, social media platforms and people were responding through that, call-outs through WhatsApp channels in the neighbourhoods and people were responding to that. We had people who've been delivering us baked goods from their kitchens to support. We've been having lots and lots of humanitarian aid that's been collected here and then packed and sent to Ukraine. I think community level of support has been enormous. Yeah. As a community connector, we are supporting Ukrainians who arrived in Exeter. Also, we link them to local opportunities in Exeter. Um, also, me and my colleague Anastasia, we have knowledge of a wide range of local opportunities, so we can connect people to uh, which is right for them. Uh, also, we provide support with jobs, uh, thank Exeter Box, it's a great productive cooperation uh, and um, everything, filling form, uh, helping people with the daily life, sometimes our main role, uh, listen, uh, we have a lot of stories, this job very emotional for us, um, as a Ukrainian, I know how difficult uh, to integrate yourself um, to a society whose culture is so different than your own, but we are supporting. We have five ways approach, which is, I think, pretty holistic approach. Uh, and um, people feel like at home here, I hope.